I'm Roy. Yeah, I figured. Nice to meet you. Wow, aren't we hooked on phonics? Oh, I read a lot. Do you read? Not much. I could loan you that if you want. It's great. No, thanks. Well, if you change your mind. Okay, we really need to get Jackson away from the lemons now, so we're moving the feast in the living room. Be right there. So are these open? Oh, yeah, you just have to unlatch them and then push. Great. Shall we? Shall we what? Bail. No. Why? Because it's Tuesday night in Stars Hollow. There's nowhere to bail to. The 24-hour mini mart just closed 20 minutes ago. So we'll walk around or sit on a bench and stare at our shoes. Look, Suki just made a ton of really great food, and I'm starving, and though it may not seem like it right at this moment, it's going to be fun. Trust me. I don't even know you. Well, don't I look trustworthy? Maybe. OK, good. Let's eat. So what are you doing now? I have some homework to finish. OK. Then I'll leave you this last little trick. You bought a copy? I told you I'd lend you mine. It is yours. You stole my book. No, nope, borrowed it. OK, that's not called a trick. That's called a felony. Well, I just want to put some notes in the margins for you. What? You've read this before. About 40 times. I thought you said you didn't read much. Well, what is much? Good night, Rory. Good night, Dodger. Dodger. Figure it out. Oliver Twist. And she never told me her name. I still love you to go from A tragic waste of paper. I can't believe you just said that. Well, it's true. The beat's writing was completely self-indulgent. I have one word for Jack Kerouac. Edit. It was not self-indulgent. The Beats believed in shocking people, stirring things up. They believed in drugs, booze, and petty crime. Well, then you could say that they exposed you to a world that you wouldn't have otherwise known. Isn't that what great writing's all about? That was not great writing. That was the National Enquirer of the 50s. You're cracked. Typical guy response. Worship Kerouac and Bukowski. God forbid you'd pick up anything by Jane Austen. Hey, I've read Jane Austen. You have? Yeah, and I think she would have liked Bukowski. What are you doing? Salt and pepper dip. Only way to eat a fry. Really? It's fast food gospel. Oh, good, you're here. So you file those under the band names? Genre. Right, genre. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, what is that? Something for school? Oh. Oh, well, shouldn't you be reading something for school? Why? I don't know. I mean, I know you like reading, and since you like reading, you might as well read something you're going to get graded on so you can get graded on something you like because you like reading. What are you babbling about? Do you love it? It's great. The Holy Barbarians. I mean, what a title. And it's by a Venice Beach beatnik about Venice Beach beatniks. And to top it off, the beatnik who wrote it is the father of the guy that does those actor studio interviews on TV. The guy with the beard? Yeah, the pointy beard. That's his dad writing at his desk. Oh, it's weird that a weird beanicky guy would have a conservative son like that. Maybe he's not that conservative. Maybe at night, he, like, takes off his clothes and parties. Oh, man, now get that picture out of my head. <laughs> it's a cool book, you gotta admit. It is. Thanks. Uh, I'm not lending it. I'm not done. Well, why'd you show it to me? I like showing you the stuff I'm reading. But you knew I'd want to read it. You're a book tease. You'll get when I'm done. Cruel woman. So I didn't just come here to chat. I wanted to show you something. Right, you said that. And I didn't think you'd believe it if I didn't show it to you in person. Oh, color me curious. A book. The Subsect. Written by Jess Mariano. It's no misprint. You wrote a book? A short novel. You wrote a book? And through a fluke, I got it to these guys that have a small press. And they read it. I don't know if they were high or something, but they decided to publish it. You wrote a book? There's no money in it. They only print in, like, 500 of them. Believe me, I'm not quitting my day job. But you wrote it. You wrote a book. Yeah, I know. It's hard to believe. You sat down and wrote a novel. Yeah, author distributed, too. That's what I'm doing here. I'm going around begging independent bookstores to put it in stock. Got it in a few. Cool. Where? Around. I want to see it in a store. 
I can give you the addresses. You know what I'm gonna do when I see it in the store? What? You know that section toward the front, the staff recommendations? I'm gonna grab a copy of your book and put it in that section. And then I'm going to write my own little recommendation on a card and attach it so people see it and buy it. Read it first, that way you can discourage people from buying it. No way, I know it's good. Jess, you've got such a great brain. I knew that if you could just sit down and stop shaking it around, you could do something like this. I knew it, I knew it. I know you did. I work at that press now. Five smelly guys in a cramped room on Locust Street putting out about three books a month. But it's fun. And what about a sequel? Are you writing a sequel? You should read it before you get too jazzed about it, okay? Shh. <sighs> Sorry. I thought I heard footsteps. I think we're okay. It's kind of late. I should go. It is kind of late. So I just basically wanted to show you that. Uh, tell you... Tell you that I couldn't have done it without you. Thanks. I'm gonna be around for a couple days. Can we talk again? Preferably above a whisper. Yeah, I'd like that. How about tomorrow night? It okay? Yep. Good. I'll sneak out of my own. Cool. Oh, hey, your book. Oh, it's yours. <laughs> 